Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking, welcome to the DH Network, and today I'm here to review the whole Wolfenstein series, so, um, so a year ago I, um, I played all four Wolfenstein games, you know, from Wolfenstein The New Order to Wolfenstein Youngblood, so it's, in today's video we're going to review all four games, and let me show what I thought of it and why they're good or bad, so other than that, if nothing talking, Let's get straight to the game, to the video, shall we? So, we'll start off with Wolfenstein Duo of Blood. This game came out in 2015, and this is a, a prequel to Wolfenstein the or New Order. So, what's so good about this game? So, basically, this game, however, um, it's one, it's a pretty much a redux of a really old game called Return to Castle Wolfenstein. And this game, um, you know, it's like, you'll see some similarities between that game and and this game so um so other than that this game however you know it has a really good story it makes references to the return to castle wolfenstein you know such as you know the characters you know like based on those characters from that game you know you got um wesley also known as agent one you know the same way what happened to agent one in return to castle wolfenstein you also got Val helga von i forgot her last name but she's based on helga von Bülow. And another professor, I forget his name, but he's based on Do Dr. Zeph. And he also got Kessler, who based on Kessler from that game too. So this game is, you know, it starts with BJ's Blastwood story on where after the events, of, before the events of the New Order. So basically, him and Wesley or Agent One, however, they um they got captured and they tried to escape. However, Agent One did not um you know escape. So BJ had to escape. Castle Wolfenstein and head to town and and fall off undead and you know you guys know the rest of the story but um other than that you know the story is pretty good it's kind of like a redux to return to Castle Wolfenstein but other than that um you know that's where the story is pretty good another thing that's also good is basically the gameplay you know yeah it's your first person shooter you know it's pretty good because you know you got your variety of weapons wherever you can ho hold one or two of them depends on what weapon you're looking at but you know the old blood is actually really good you know it does give me the return to castle wolverstone vibes you know exception of the weaponry and also you know like and other missions you know like this game is actually pretty good you know i enjoyed it when i first played it back in 2017 and last year and 2019 as well but other than that the old blood is just it's so good you know like you know whatever will you guys Want me to recommend this game to you guys? Of course. If you like the the whole story, you know, like. But you know, it's pretty good. But other than that, um, the old blood is actually a really excellent game. You know, like I enjoyed the heck out of it. So other than that, the old this is my review on the old blood, and it's one of my personal favorites. And let's continue to the next one, shall we? Next up, we got Wolfenstein The New Order, and this game came out in of 2014, and this one came out before The Old Blood, so, um, what's good about The New Order, you know, as I mentioned the other time, it's also based on, you know, after the events of The Old Blood, so, um, so basically, BJ Blazkowicz and his team, you know, try to get payback toward, um, uh, Dr. Death's head himself and you know like you know who's also another character from Return to Castle Wolfenstein but um what's what's so good about this store this g game is also you know it continues to that story you know despite being older than the than the old blood but what's so good is basically um you know you got your variety of characters such as BJ Caroline Anya uh, Fergus Wyatt and um and and other characters but let me tell you something about this game you have you have there's a, a, a choice that you can make um what the, the choices are is when you first play the very first level you have a choice either you you sacrifice fergus or sacrifice wyatt those two characters um they play their big role of of the game and what's basically what I'm talking about is basically if if one person um you sacrifice one person dies you, the other one you know will play a big role of the story depends who you who you who you sacrifice you know like for example from my last place from a year ago I I sacrificed Wyatt so within that um 
why is now uh, like you know Fergus takes a big role in the in the game now. Meanwhile, Wyatt he dies and yet we we'll also fight him at the end, of the, almost nearly the end of the game. You know, it's, it's kind of a really good twist. It could play the other way. If you want to say Wyatt, then you have to pretty much um, you know, he will be a big part of the game too. And not not only that, but um, you also have to fight Fergus too. And trust me, when you see that stuff. It's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, very emotional because the story in this game is so well done. Like, it's so good. Like, no regrets, you know. Like, this game, however, is just so good, you know. Like, there's nothing wrong about this story. But other than that, you know, there's some good satisfying moments there too, then and now. But um, other than that, um, the new order is just... You know, just the story's pretty good. Not only that, not only with the characters, but you can do other ways of doing, like learning how to lockpick or um or um hotwire. Depends on what character you save, and you get your up your upgrades. Speaking of upgrades, you know, there's a lot of upgrades in this game. You know, like upgrade your weapons. You know, um, get more health or other and you know, etc. You know, like. This game is just, you know, so good, you know, like, it just makes the game more interesting to do, you know, like, that, however, you know, almost, you know, the weapons are pretty good, you know, from assault rifles to shotguns and to pretty much, you know, almost everything, you know, like, the only downside of it is just, you know, you cannot mix your weapons up, but we'll discuss that later on, but... But it just, you know, remember, the New Order is one, it's the oldest game listed in this um, review. You know, however, the New Order, it just, it's so, it's really good. So, there's nothing wrong with this game, you know. I enjoyed it, you know. It's a really magnificent game, you know, because, you know, the story is really good. And, you know, the variety of characters and, you know. Everything, it's, this story is so well done and the rewards too, you know, like, you know, like collectibles and all that stuff. But, you know, other than that, if I do I recommend playing the new order, of course, if, especially if you just played the old blood. So, yeah, I recommend playing the old blood before you play the new order so you understand the story mode. So, other than that, the new order is a really awesome, magnificent game. So, um, that's all I got to say about the new order. So, let's continue, shall we? Up next, we got Wolfenstein The New Colossus. Um, this game came out in 2017. When this first, this game came out, like the trailer, I got actually got excited about it, you know, like, since I recently played The New Order and The Old Blood that same year. So let's get started. What's so good about this game? Let's get to the story. So the story takes place after the events of The New Order. And just remember, depends on your choice from the new order and the old blood you can I mean the new order sorry it depends who you sacrifice whether it's Fergus or Wyatt so it depends on what timeline you play it continues on to this game so um the, the story you know takes place after um front Ago and the Nazis um raid the if the the u-boat and you know whatsoever and at that time BJ Blasco is actually paralyzed and actually weak at that time so um you know, he pretty much has to fight his way through other parts of the of the country, of the United States, to fight against the Nazis, you know, like, you know, for New York, to Roswell, to um, Texas, to New Orleans, and even to Venus, a planet, which something I did not expect to happen, you know, like, and what's so good about the, uh, the story is basically, you know, after the, takes place after the events of the New Order, you know, basically, um, the, the story is just, it's so good, like, you know, like, it just takes place after that, you know, it was pretty, in, it was pretty interesting, but, you know, afterwards, you know, like, you see some satisfying moments, like, at, especially at the end, which I'm not gonna spoil, for those who, um, who, who never played this game, so I'm not gonna spoil the ending for you guys, so, um, other than that, um, what else is so good about the gameplay, you know, it's actually good, kind of like similar to that, the new order, the, the old blood, but there's some differences. For the first time ever, you know, in Wolfenstein, the old blood and the new order, you only could, like, do well with the same weapon. But in this game, however, you can actually do well, 
you can mix your weapons up, you know, from SMGs to assault rifles and bow hands, you know, to shotguns and grenade launchers to even a sp just special weapon on the time when you're playing it. But other than that, you know, this game, you know, like, and also you got your variety of upgrades, your variety of perks, you know, and, and, and your kits. But however, the perks, it's not like how the new order, the new, and the old blood was, you know, however, you, you know, it's different because, um, basically you're just, um, you're just doing the same task and you're pretty much trying to increase the, you know, the, I guess the feature, you know, whatever you want to get more ammo, carry more ammo or, um, increase your health, increase body armor, you know, but it's just, it's, it's good, but it's not like compared to that the new order. And also, you know, like, and uh, here's the, here's the fortunate part. Whenever, okay, I'll just talk about the good thing about it. So the, the good thing after the story, you can actually do side missions, you know, such as um, taking down Uber commanders. You know, to all the levels that you play in the past, you can you can find and take down these um these commanders, and you pretty much can actually um what you call it? you could like take them down. You can actually go back and what you miss, whatever is treasure upgrades and you know. Etc. All, all the way above. But the, here's the bad side about it. Um, after you complete the story mode, you cannot replay the whole story again with all your upgrades. You have to pretty much have to start all over again. You gotta get all your perks, all your upgrades, everything. You know, it sucks. It's just I don't know why they made that choice, but um, you know, I don't know what they think of that decision. But it's whatever. You know, I still play it regardless. You know, like. But it's just, you know, if they did the same way what they did with the order, the new order and the old blood, maybe this game could have been better, but at how, how I see it, I just don't think, I just don't see it. You know, it's good. Like, it's good and, and you know, it could compete with the other two, but it's just not, it's not like above them. So, um, you know, this game is good, but it's just not, not excellent or magnificent. And it's not that bad either, just, you know, good in general, but... Other than that, the new Colossus just, you know, this is the review of it, and and that's everything. And also, I forgot, lastly, you can also, it also brought some features back from the old blood, you know, like the the little challenges, you know, and and you also play little side stories, you know, that does not relate to the to the main story, but just, you know, their own story, and, and that's pretty much it from that, so, um, you know, something if you guys ever bought the season pass or whatever it is. So, other than that, this is my end of the review of the new Colossus. So, on to the next one, shall we? And lastly, we got Wolfenstein Youngblood. This game came out in 2019, you know, announced in 2018. So, oh man, let me get started, guys. This game... This game is an absolute dumpster fire. And why is that? Oh man, I gotta tell you guys all the details. Expect the rant. So, um, this game, man, however, the story, the story just, um, it just, out of nowhere, it's like, it lost its potential after the events of the New Colossus. It doesn't, it says it takes place after the events of the New Colossus, but however, the problem is, it's basically. It's basically this, you know, it doesn't tell you what happened, like, how did BJ, and this is the first game to not, to play as BJ Blast with the main protagonist of, Wolf, of the Wolfenstein series. But instead, we play as BJ's two daughters, um, Sophia and Jess, and yeah, they were, they were, they were even born during the new Colossus, but they aren't mentioned because, you know, because, they're, because Anya was pregnant at that time. But what's so bad about this game is basically, uh... It's just, you know, the, it's just the story makes no, it's just out, it's like out of context. Meaning that, um, it's just like, it's just out of nowhere, like, we don't know what happened, like, my questions are, what happened to Seth Ross? What happened to Anya? What happened to Grace? Well, Anya and Grace are still mentioned, you know, they could be seen, uh, um, behind the scenes, but, you know, others like Seth Ross, Fergus, Wyatt, um, Bombate, etc. Like, where's everybody? What happened to them? Did they survive? Did they all die? We don't know. Because there's no story brand after this. But instead, it's all in, how you say it? It's just, this story's just out of, you know, out of the, out of the ordinary. And what's so bad about it is basically, um, in the, 
It's just, you know, and plus the story makes absolutely no sense. And, you know, like, the story's just not, it's not that good, you know. You know, it's just not good at all. The gameplay, oh man. The gameplay is horrible. It's like they downgraded from everything from the new Colossus, you know, like, yeah, there's some things that are from the game, but look, look at this. You know, now we're gonna kill certain enemies with a certain weapon, which is pretty much whack. Meaning like, with, so you're telling me I'm gonna have to kill a robot with a shotgun, then no assault rifle, like, how creative is that? It's not, it's whack, it's, it's terrible, you know, like, this game, it, when I first saw it, I thought it looked like it had potential, but unfortunately it doesn't. But it's just a big disappointment. And what really annoys me is the dialogue between Sophia and Jess. And why is that? Because their dialogue, their personality is cringe. It's just bad. Like, it just annoys you. And like, I was like, what are these girls? And not only that, we call them by m m man names, you know, like Arthur or John. You know, I think that's a reference to Red Dead Redemption 2, but I doubt it. But, but other, but yeah, it's just terrible. Like, this game is just terrible. Like, I, look, like, it's so terrible. I didn't even bear to finish it. I didn't even want to, you know, barely started when I first started the Let's Plays on this channel. But, and afterwards, it's like, I, I, I can't bear myself playing this game. I thought, I guess I'm doing terrible. But it's not that. It's not, I'm doing terrible. It's because the gameplay is terrible. You know, do I, you know who do I blame? Bethesda, the 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 creators of the of the Wolfenstein series, they destroyed my fairy series. You know I love the Wolfenstein series, but however, you don't have the main character, you don't have the story you left off, and you just take us to a whole new direction, just 12 years ahead from the previous game. And do I am I fond of it? No. Should have kept with, like, because if there's no explanation what happened to the other characters, then what's the point of this? Why Sophia and Jess try to do all the, yeah, their main person find their father. But the question is, how did he get captured? Where's the others? But th that's nowhere to be found because basically, just we all don't know what happened. So pretty much the story just out of text. The gameplay is terrible because due to, you know, it just looks like everything got done. And. And the and the and the cringe um um the 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 bad things they say you know I just I'm not a fan of this game you know I'm very disappointed on what um Bertessa did to this game you know they if they could have just continued after the left where they left off from the new Colossus then yeah then I could have changed my mind but no they didn't so so yeah this game is just so oh man this game is just terrible it just pisses me off. And yeah, even I saw the reviews, I was I was like, well, before I played the game, I was like, I want to know if like there's any like good reviews about it. Apparently, there's none. This game got a bad reception, not just for me, but for the fans who love the Wolfenstein series, including myself. So it's unfortunate. So um, I guess that's the Wolfenstein Youngblood of all Wolfenstein games is hands down the worst game ever. So um. Other than that, this is the end of my Wolfenstein um, series. So, what do you guys think? You guys agree with me? If you have any thoughts about the Wolfenstein series, please let me know down in the comments down below. So, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up if you're new here. My subscribe. This is what my Wolfenstein series review. So, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next next video. And welcome to the DHC Network. This is your Captain speaking. Signing out.